Hello, we are members of the Tea Ceremony Club at Hokusei Gakuen University. We would like to introduce Tea Ceremony, which is an example of our traditional Japanese culture. Originally, the Tea Ceremony came from the tea culture of China. Senorikyu perfected this tea ceremony about 450 years ago, and he established a foundation of the tea ceremony that continues to this day. Since then, methods have been devised that suit the circumstances of the times. For example, in the Meiji era, there was a method devised called otemae, where overseas visitors would sit in a chair and drink from a personal cup. Rather than sharing the cup with others, this innovation was to improve hygiene. Changes have been made over the years so that people can continue to enjoy tea ceremony. In the modern era, tea ceremonies are held every season, such as New Year's and Christmas. However, because of COVID 19, we are currently not able to host tea ceremonies in Sapporo. Even though we cannot hold tea ceremonies, There are related things we can do. For example, have you ever tried drinking out of a beautiful teacup to lift your mood? It doesn't matter how you feel, or what the weather is like, or even the season. Tea ceremony is about deciding on a theme, preparing the tea with all your heart, and making the tea. Of course, there are some traditions to follow in the tea ceremony. But we can also try it casually, and most importantly, it helps us feel calm and relaxed. By all means, please try powdered green tea when you have the opportunity. Now, we would like to introduce how to bow during the tea ceremony. First of all, sit up straight. We call this the basic seiza. Women sit with a straight back, legs together. And with their right hand on top of their left hand. Men sit with two fists placed on their open knees. There are three types of bowing in tea ceremony or sado. The most polite bow is shin. For the shin bow, you bow with a straight back, run your flat hands over your knees, and place them on the mat in front of your knees. For the gyo bow, Do the same but stop when the second joint of the finger touches the tatami mat. So is the easiest bow where you only lower your upper body until your fingertips just touch the tatami mat. As you can see, there are many ways to bow, and we call these ojigi. There are many varieties in tea ceremony, but the most important thing is to participate with a feeling of appreciation. By putting all your heart into each and every part of the tea ceremony, you can become a great tea master. Next, we will demonstrate the tea ceremony called Otemae. This Otemae tea ceremony is known as Bondyak Temae. Because it is a simple Otemae, it is suitable for us to learn the basics, and it is the first tea ceremony we learn.
How was the online tea ceremony experience? In past years, international students actually came to the tea ceremony club room called Waishitsu to experience the tea ceremony, but this year we created a video so that you can experience the tea ceremony wherever you are. There are many traditional cultures in Japan. The tea ceremony is just one example. Please come to Japan to feel the Japanese spirit, heart of what? That is all from the Tea Ceremony Club of Hokusei Gakuen University. Thank you very much.